Inside its bricks, 113 years of history and hauntings. There's activity all through the building. The chairs will open and close. You hear voices, strange noises, um, objects moving in the library area. People have heard his footsteps and they've seen him watching. We have the man in the hat. He likes the balcony. He will sit and watch shows or watch rehearsals. This is the Andrew Carnegie Free Library and Music Hall, home to the paranormal. Every room, every floor, there's something that happens. The library was once a gathering spot for Civil War veterans. And she said, he swears that there is a gentleman who stands at the top of your steps in a blue outfit watching down over the place. Who else would be in something old that looked like a uniform hanging out upstairs? Nathaniel Wyrick wasn't a believer. Something was in this building that was not a living, breathing human, yes. Nate was waiting to close the library one night when he heard some loud noises downstairs. It essentially sounded like that. He walked down the steps but found no one. When I got to the top of the steps and I heard it again and I, I could hear it right there. I flipped, I flipped out. The actors who perform here on stage have their own stories. You'll hear somebody walking upstairs, up in the balcony. Rob James says he has seen him at least a dozen times. We would be rehearsing on stage and you could see somebody walking in the lobby. Just real quick, nobody was there. Nobody's ever there. A former worker remembers locking up one night and returning in the morning to find a row of books tossed from their shelf. As if someone was walking through and just threw them onto the ground. A book about ghosts was on top of the pile. Tonight, the Pittsburgh Paranormal Society is joining us on a ghost hunt. We just want to know. Sean, Russ, and Leanne. They bring three kinds of cameras. Is anybody in here? Digital voice recorders, special sensors. Are you here? We set up in the music hall after hours in the dark. Is there somebody here that's with us right now? Leanne and Sean capture what they call strong evidence right here. Oh, no. It's like, look at that. Look at that. Blue right one. there. Look at that blue one. Oh, wow. Orbs of energy, like this one above the seat. We also capture those orbs on video. Do you see it right there? Let's highlight it as it drops into frame. Then there's this one, moving up from the seat. See it? Many investigators believe orbs are really spirits. After a while, when the spirits get used to you, okay, eventually they'll start coming. Dave and I head up to the balcony where many people have seen the ghost of a man. This is where they've seen him watching and where our thermal imaging camera gives us a surprise. Cold, cold, up, warm. An undeniable heat source coming from his seat. We're down one. The camera shows us warmth where nobody is sitting. Look at that. That's his seat. Right there. That's the man in the hat seat. And that heat stays during our entire investigation. Mr. Carnegie, are you with us tonight? Our ghost hunt turns uncomfortable in the library. It sounds really weird, but I just got exceedingly nauseous. There you go. They're around. I'm overwhelmed by nausea. At the very same time, Sean feels a blast of cold. When you get, when you get nauseous and when you get cold and the chills and stuff. That means they're right next to you. They're right next to you. And look at the orb Leanne captures close to my stomach. Right there. Yep, you right can see the one that passed him. Yeah. And then you can see the one that's right by you. That's the one making you feel sick. And this is even creepier. Video of two orbs coming out of my body. Watch. There's one and two. All right, did you see that? Watch in slow motion again. There's the first one and the second one. Once they leave me, that sickness goes that away. Was, that was really uncomfortable. I really thought I was going to throw up. Wow. One building where many strange things happen. It's haunted. Without a doubt, it's haunted. Where Andrew Carnegie himself turns visitors into believers. I do. I do believe in ghosts.